Hello everybody, and welcome back. Last episode, we learned how to dodge. We also uh, acquired our very first hero point. Now, on the hero points, if we go up to our screen here, our character screen, I don't have access to the uh, hero point tab until I reach level 11. If I open up my map, uh, we can see right here that I do have one of eight of the points that I can get in this zone. So we're definitely uh, doing the right thing there. Um, last episode I received quite a bit of new gear and some of the colors were just, you know, the plain old brown. So if you come over here and you don't select equipment, if you just go to the equipment tab, you get all of these options and if you pop on down to the die you can see you can apply die remove die and pick a color now I want to kind of co color coordinate um, I have quite enough brown I'd like to get some more blue and possibly the purple so uh, if I hit this orchid color I'm thinking that's too dark maybe this one I'm not sure and we'll go to our hands, and if you hover over it, it's going to show you which one is actually going to be colored on the item. And I'd rather be more subtle, so if I go ahead and I click that, now my fingertips are purple. And we're going to go down to the boots also, and we will move, make them purple there as well. I don't think I want my boots to be blue. is I've got lots of blue on the back of the jacket. So once you select what you want to do for colors, you can just hit apply. And if there is a charge, it'll tell you. Apparently there's no charge. So I'm going to hit apply and let's see if we, yep, and it worked. Now the other thing that I wanted to do is uh, when I logged in, I received a notice that I haven't selected my stats. So I came back into the equipment tab and if I hover over say my uh, my helm it says right on there uh, double click to select stats so we're gonna do that and now we get to pick I guess which combination of stats that I would like and uh, going over my characters uh, stats I think I want uh, power and precision uh, since I do a lot of ranged. Uh, now this one is two power and three precision. This one is three power and two precision. Now according to this precision increases my critical hit chance and the power increases my attack. So I'm not really sure I think I, I think I want precision to be the main thing. I'm not sure at this level if it's going to matter that much, but we're going to try that. Because I don't think I really need to be strong. So we're going to pick that. And now it shows that I have stats. Same thing with this. So we have to go down and do each item. Now, I am going to choose Hardy and Vitality, or Toughness and Vitality, for my chest piece, because that makes sense to me. Uh, the gloves, I think that uh, we're going to go with, hmm, we're going to go with the power and less precision on that. The legs, toughness, and vitality. And we cannot select anything for the boots that we have. So that's that. So I think that we're good. I'm guessing. So can I go back and change something here if I 
want to. Oh, can't be changed. All right. Well, that's that's good to know. So, with all that out of the way, <laughs> I think we're ready to get going for today. Uh, now, we are going to go back around, keep going in the direction we were going. Basically, uh, I'm just going to swim across. Basically, we're going counterclockwise on the map. And we had finished this particular event over here. So we're just going to try to make our way past that. And uh, I'm going to check the map and see what's available. Okay, go up that path up there. Now, apparently I have, these are my buffs, so I have a 50% karma bonus running and uh, damage reduction. I had received uh, those items last episode and I used, I used some of them. So let's pick up this. Okay. <laughs> I think we're going to have to go back across. I guess to use them, you just click on where you want to go. So we're going to do that. It's going to cost some coin. We're going to pop back over here. You know what? Over here, there is a vista that we need to get. So let's head over there. There's a cave. There isn't anybody offering anything outside of this cave. So let's see what's going on. There's a vista. There it is, right up there. So we need to get up on top of that rock. Now, I don't know if these guys are aggro to us or not. I doubt it's going to be super easy to just kind of walk up there, but let's see. Are you going to attack me? No. Okay, let's get out of here. Exit was right over 
right over here. Oh, I got something. Increase my speed. And that looks like some kind of an interesting thing up here. I'm going to check it out. It looks like a portal. Can I go in it? <gasps> Rata Sum. Oh my gosh, I went to a different area. I don't want to do that. <laughs> we... We need to go back, but where the heck is this? Oh wow, yeah, I am not ready for this. I'm going back. <laughs> we still have so much to do. All right, well, we're gonna go on over here continue on. I think I've done enough exploring for one day. End up in trouble, I'll tell you what. Oh, here's an area. Not a lot going on here. Here we go. This looks like a new area. Yep, there's a scout. Let's talk to him. The marsh north of Soren Dra is remarkably tumultuous. Senior researcher Shun and his salvage crew clash with the inquest as they race to unearth an artifact at the old Gollum foundry site. Across the river from the old Gollum foundry, the Brill Alliance crew has begun researching Skrit, who make for troublesome, uncooperative test subjects. These crews can always use extra hands. Okay. There's something we can do up here. Hello. Do you require my assistance? I fear some of my salvage specialists have been taken by the inquest. Can you help extract them from captivity? Oh, sure. They're somewhere inside the lab to the south. A group of my salvage specialists has gone missing. Well, I'll find them. I'll bring him back. Okay. So we have to go in here. I'm gonna turn off this danger sign. <laughs> oh, okay.
Now, I don't have anything to mine with, do I? No, it's probably going to tell me I can't. Yep. <laughs> I need to get some tools. Shoot. Okay. All right, we're supposed to do something with the data crystals. And I don't know what. Oh, we're taking him. Okay. There's the salvage specialists. We need to get, get them out of here. Let's get this crystal. Oh, there's another hero challenge over here. Well, we're going to do that. Calibrated to a mysterious frequency. Let's focus on that. Oh. Level seven, and I got the hero point. Just to make sure, I open my map. Yep. Okay, we better uh, continue on with our mission here. Oh. There's a new event, and I'm missing it. Let's get there. I guess it's already over.
this crystal. I guess we are supposed to kill these things. Mission. are done. Let's get out of here. Somewhere safe and I want to check out all my goodies. All right, let's see. First we leveled. So what do we get? Down skill two unlocked. What does that mean? You've unlocked your second down ability. Oh, so I have more things I can do. Okay, I haven't actually seen that yet. And vistas are now shown on my map. Group of my salvage specialists okay, have gone I thought missing. I was already being able to see the vistas. Okay. Black Lion Trading Company. Armor repair. Every time you die, your armor becomes less durable. Repair your armor at an equipment repair NPC or an anvil to keep it in good condition. Okay, well I haven't actually died, so I think we're good. I mean, this one. Excelsior. I'm impressed with your work, Kezi Ray. The inquest are keen on disrupting my salvage site, but you prove to be an even bigger disruption to them. I've overheard plenty of griping and bickering from Inquest, which is like music to my ears. <laughs> I know you will continue to accomplish great things. Thank you. Let's see what he's got. What you selling? I'm not going to take anything. Up here, I noticed is like a little compass and it's going to point me in the direction that I need to go which is really helpful <laughs> can't go that way so we're going to hit this other uh, waypoint get some crafting tools. I need to find a merchant that's going to sell that stuff to me. I don't think I've run across one yet. Now we are starting to see some aggro mobs. Like that one right here. <laughs> There we go. 
Provoke captivated script and calm enraged script. Intercept script thieves. Activate monitors and interrogate IQ test subjects. Okay. Hello, researcher Rafa. How may I assist you? Okay, what sort of help are you looking for? Our captivation modules keep the script engaged. If you like, talk with them while we observe. Inevitably, they become very frustrated and will need to be pacified. Piles of junk also attract script thieves. Make sure you teach them a lesson if you catch one. Okay, anything else? Well, there's a few script trained IQ tests. Use your intellect and see what you can get from them. We also have recording devices set up inside the cave and outside the lab. You can activate those also. Okay, I'll see what I can do. There's a thief. Here's a test subject. Let's, let's, what is this monitor? Let's activate it. Oh! Okay, let's interrogate this fellow. Oh, no more questions! Why? Why? Did questions yesterday? Well, because we have to monitor you. N now, question number one. Did you not hear me just say, now, question number one? Oh, so is that the first question? Or no questions? Or yes questions? I'm confused. That was merely my reprising of the prelude for the first question, which is... Oh, no questions. Nap time. <laughs> I think you just debunked the script exponential intelligence theory. <laughs> That's funny. All right, what about you? Can I ask you a question? You look smart. <laughs> oh, no. N no more smarts. <laughs> when combined, what does molten steel and pyroclastic material become? Uh, pie papa class? Uh, pie -sass? Um, Food? No, no, not food. Okay, this one's easier. At what temperature does rock liquefy? Uh, temperature of uh, hot. <laughs> no, this is stupid. We should just freeze dry grit and sell them to char our snacks. Oh no, uh, not cat food. <laughs> yeah, wallow in that for a while. Oh, Kizzy, that's not nice. <laughs> Everyone can't be as smart as you, my dear. Here's a monitor over here. have what's inside. It's not yours. Stop, stop. Okay, well you need to put it back. Hmm. Okay, no 
let's look what's inside. There, we're going to take care of him. I don't know if he's somebody that I need for this. We're going to find out. Nope. Oh, did I fire on you by accident? Here is another one. I don't think we've talked to you yet. Uh, yes. Um, why, why are you looking at me? I don't have shines. Well, I've got to test your intelligence. Oh, test. I hate tests. Okay, fine. Uh, how many are in a dozen? How many what? <laughs> I guess not. When red and blue are combined, what color do they make? I don't know. Okay, explain to me what you do know. Uh, just everything you know. Everything? <laughs> Test completed. Oh, all right, let's try you. I answer right. You give me treat. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, do you know what this is called? Um, what you talking about? This right here. You're looking at it. Uh, floppy ears lies. Nothing is there. No, this right here is called an air molecule. Uh... Oh, and that concludes today's lesson. <laughs> I'm either boring them to tears or their brains are exploding from the, uh, from the work of having to think. I don't know for sure which. Researchers will never let you have this inside. I just wanted to let you know we found your stash and took your stuff. Let's open up this heart. Thank you for assisting with our research. It was refreshing to meet another brilliant mind. I don't know what was going on there, but there was all kinds of fighting. Okay, we have a vista to get, and it's right up there. Um, I wonder if we can get it up. this way or if that's going to be too easy let's see no oh my god that one was really easy I got lucky <laughs>
basically, we're just... You've just been dying to say that, haven't you? Alright everybody, let's do this one. Oh, we're level 8 now. Underwater combat unlocked. And now we have weapon skill 5 unlocked. Glue shot. Coats the target with glue that immobilizes it. Oh, wonderful. That's going to come in handy. And I get... New, oh, that's a spear gun for underwater. Oh, I get both of them. Okay. Oh, I'll put those for sure. And I'm going to have to go through all of my other goodies and see what I got today. And I also got an explorer's ball. Contains a 10 slot bag and three Explorer's Boosters. Sweet. All right, well, I'm going to have to go through all of that stuff, but I'm going to do that off camera. Thank you for joining me today, everybody. Please give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, all. Bye-bye now.